Buenos días, soy Fran Silvestre y nos encontramos en el proyecto New, de New Houses. Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have a super special edition thanks to Open House Valencia who brought us to discover and explore a concept of homes designed by the star architect Fran Silvestre here in Valencia. It's going to be a real pleasure. We're going to be looking at five homes. So guys, stay tuned till the end because there is a lot to see. Homes of different designs and different concepts, different fittings. Wow. That's number two that we're going to be discovering. But now I would say number one is right there at the far end. And you already get to see the architectural clean lines of this home. Let's explore it. En realidad esto es un sistema constructivo que lo que busca es democratizar la arquitectura y también democratizar el diseño. Para ello lo que hemos hecho ha sido generar un modelo de construcción in situ en el cual ensamblamos todos los componentes que existen dentro de la industria para poder hacerlos en un plazo cierto, tres meses, y con un precio cerrado. Lo que hemos hecho en este caso ha sido eh, generar una urbanización eh, en, el, en la cual se encuentran todos los modelos, todas las tipologías con los distintos acabados. Eh, de esta manera podemos tener la sensación real de visitar las viviendas y ver cuál es eh, lo que sentimos cuando estamos dentro de estas eh, viviendas. En realidad pensamos que es un proceso como muy innovador porque lo que nos permite es repetir cada una de las tipologías, con lo cual podemos controlar muy bien el proceso constructivo, tener un gran control de calidad y así podemos ir perfeccionando el producto conforme vamos avanzando. Eh, yo creo que en realidad lo más interesante del proyecto es poder verlo y poderlo vivirlo y sin más os eh, animo a que disfrutéis del vídeo. Muchas gracias. This entire project is a showroom project with five homes. I don't even think we should call it a showroom because this is more like a show house project. Now, this property here, which has a reference of N320, is actually the biggest property that you can get. And it's also the priciest starting at 643,000 euros. Now, let me quickly explain why it's so epic. When you signed a contract of purchase within three months this entire home will be built and placed on your plot of land and I think that is absolutely fascinating and I'm going to come back to that later. The swimming pool is an optional addition you can get it but it's not part of the base price of 643,000 euros but obviously if you want you can get it. Now the concept behind this home is that you have two window facades on each side also with a pavilion covered terrace area sort of cantilevered outwards and the home in general has 322 square meters four bedrooms living room kitchen everything you can dream of let's look inside come on this is the living room area ladies and gentlemen nice wooden panels laid out big coffee table in the middle two couches this side here you can place your television this project's relatively new, so the television hasn't yet been installed on the wall, but obviously you can do that. Nice ceiling height, indirect lighting slots, a lot of great illumination going on. And just on the opposite side, you find the kitchen. But I think the space is pretty awesome. What do you think, Patrick? Yes, I like that it has windows on both sides. It's very well illuminated. 
and I like the light sl slots at the top. Yeah. Very nice. Like Great I work. said, you have the window sides from wall to wall on both ends. So basically in the center is where you live, illuminated from both ends. And obviously you can switch and choose which side to use. This one for the afternoon sun, this one for your breakfast, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, you can see that especially now, one side is nicely illuminated, other is in the shade. So you benefit of both. Beautifully said. Let's go alongside this corridor, because here we have the intersection, which basically divides the space from the living room area to the staircase and the kitchen, little working space here. Obviously, you have drawers everywhere, and here also cupboards and so forth, everything that you need. Now, it's just a little extra use of space in case you need an office space. Here we can also control the lighting in the house and nicely discreetly hidden in the wall here with the push of the button, we enter into the guest bathroom. This is also Korean material. So is the outer facade of the house with breathable slots in between. So the energy efficiency of this house is perfect. And once again, the door hides. Look how stunningly illuminated the staircase is up to the first floor. We'll come to that later. You're seeing in the detail shots, nicely laid out as well with wood. And here I shall welcome you into the kitchen. Spacious, clean, modern and minimalistic to say the least. Here we have the induction with the extractor nicely inbuilt into the island. Obviously we have everything here that you can desire lot of storage spaces, etc. You're seeing it more in the detail shot. Here we have more storage, one sink here, more countertop to work from, indirect lighting, dishwasher, appliances, discreetly hidden behind this panel as well. And obviously more spaces here for your paneled in oh. fridge. And a beer. And one beer, Desperados. That one's for me, Patrick, when One beer to fight over. <laughs> exactly. So that sums up the kitchen. Obviously you have enough space. You also have an extended table here from the kitchen island from where you can, you know, have your breakfast, work, or simply sit down and enjoy this great illumination that comes in. Now. You know what I like about these prefabbed houses? Tell me that they really made a lot of use of all the space of it. 100%. So everything is very utile and people who know me know that I'm a very utile person. You bet, Patrick. That is very true. It's compact. It's There's compact. no dead space, right? Exactly. Even here, the hidden guest toilet is also a great it's invention. It's very efficient. Yeah. And now maybe you want to turn the camera around. This is the staircase I'm going to be get, taking up to show you the first floor. Let's go. And already here we find the first bedroom. Once again, we have these hidden handles as well that you can bump open into this bedroom. Now, this is the only bedroom that's en suite. It is super bright, as you can see. We have a window which is entirely without a frame from left to right, from floor to top. Fantastic. Here we have just a wall. There's nothing there, <laughs> but here we have the cupboard. So let's have a quick look into it. Nicely illuminated with the indirect lighting, the shelves right underneath with the soft close system. And voila, perfect. The view outwards, depending on where you position it, could also be fantastic because you literally have this entire frame to look out from. Here, hidden, we have the ensuite bathroom, one sink vanity setup, big mirror, and of course your entire shower area, which is just here. Porcelanosa taps and fittings in the shower. You see that everything has this very clean, lined style and design, which is pretty sweet. Which you can though choose. Look into the mirror and say it. Welcome. Yes, because you can choose the design, the interior design of your... You can indeed. Yes. So you want me to evaluate? You should... Uh, should yeah. I expand on that thought? You should expand on that, definitely. There are four types of designs that you can have in the homes. Aluminium, graphite, 
sand or travertine. Those are the four different styles. Now the cool thing, we're gonna be seeing different styles throughout now, and you can select each room to be a different style as well. Interesting. If you, if you like that. Of course, if you like it. That depends on you. Pacha and I, we are more like the minimalistic type of people, so we'll probably choose one throughout continuous style, right? Uh, yeah, but wood. Yeah. Definitely some wood. We're gonna be seeing in a fantastic home further along the tour, which has an entire kitchen cladded with wood and it's just so cozy and warm. Now let's talk about this one here. Obviously we have the same repetition here with the cupboards and you would position the bed right here facing the wall there, giving you enough space for everything. Or make an office space out of it. You can also make an office space. I mean, you have four bedrooms on this level, so whatever you do with it is up to you. Let's continue to the next one. Now, more cupboard spaces here. And once again, in this entire white wall, we only see the slots here that indicate that something is hiding behind it. We have the third bedroom. Let's look at it. With the cupboards right here, bed nicely centered and even a little working space there. It's super illuminated, but obviously you also have controlled blinds that can lower, giving you shade. But to be honest, living in such a beautiful place like Spain, you want to enjoy the luminosity as much as you can. Now off to the last bedroom of this house and then off to another house. There's a lot to show, so let's go. Here we would have the last bedroom, right there, which is identical to the second bedroom we have seen. It's not staged, but the bed would go right here in the center and the luminosity is just mind blowing. You can even open the window out a little bit. Should we just do that, Patrick? the hidden sa sashes as well, which is fantastic. And right here you get to enjoy a nice it's breeze. It's like a little balcony with the protection so exactly. nobody drops out. Because the window doesn't open more, so it gives you that little extra of terrace sort of impression. Now we also have right here the bathroom that you would share with three bedrooms. So there's one bedroom that's en suite and the other ones would share this one. Obviously they're maximizing the space as we said at the beginning of the tour to fit in as much as they possibly can. Porcelain, lots of taps and fittings. I like the sort of metallic distinction to the entire whiteness that we find throughout the house. And of course here a little towel rack as well as a niche for your shampoos. Yeah, but also made with the same material which I find is very good. Yeah, and they have even embroidered new onto the towels. I think I might take a towel with me. Why not? But yeah, one thing vanity here as well with the drawer set up right underneath. You wonder where are the electrical plugs? Well, they are found here. And you can, you know, plug it in, do your business. Obviously you would close it slightly and then do whatever you need. Comb your hair, etc. You get the drift guys, come on but I love how everything has its place. Everything is nicely and discreetly hidden. And of course, once I close this, you don't even know what's behind it. And once again, from wall to wall, we have windows that can also slide open to give you a nice ventilation throughout the entire house. Now let's go downstairs, we'll see you there. This is also a nice little feature, by the way, don't you think, Patrick? You mean a window? Not Picture the window, window, the little art. art displacement feature there. Why not, yeah. It's cool. It's nice. All right, before I forget, here's the guest toilet and right on the other side, we have the laundry room, which is also present. Now I think the space and the layout is fantastic. It's not overwhelming, it's not too much. It's kind of really cozy and cute, if I may say that. That's with the sashes I meant before, nicely inlaid so they're not poking out and obviously the windows are just fantastic and you can slide them closed as such. Now, interestingly as well, this is the access and exit point into your house. As you might have noticed, there is no traditional door into your home. Right above us, we have an automated pergola, which can also open and close, giving this entire section space for sunlight, sun tanning, chilling, whatever you need to do. Now, before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, to the second house, I would like to point out that in the description box, you find the timestamps where we show at what time we are at which home 
and also all the details and information that you can kind of think about, you'll find there, so do check it out. Let's continue. I have to admit, from the architectural point of view, I would say this one I find most interesting. But yet again, the cube-like one that we're going to be exploring now, which is there, the N220, it's also really interesting. Now, if you want to know how expensive the starting prices are, all the key details, you find it in the description box. So do check it out. Little carport section here, a swimming pool, your terrace, which has 74 square meters of space, and the entire home, which features four bedrooms and two levels in a different style that we have seen from the first one. Let's enter, <laughs> come on. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the design here is different. The tonation is also different, the coloring and so forth. So obviously this is a complete different style. I think this might be graphite. That is one of the four styles you can choose from. Sand, aluminum, graphite and limestone. Now, the setup is different here. We have the lounge area, TV setup with the dinner table right here. And opposite here, we have the kitchen. Difference from this unit, obviously it's squared. You also have no outside terrace from the back of the house, but you do have quite a generous 174 square meters in the front. But also no cantilevered terrace. Exactly, that's, that's, that's what I meant. Yeah. However, if you have a big plot and you put it onto it, you can do whatever you want here. But obviously it doesn't come in the package. Nicely built in once again, we have a little, let me, wait Patrick, let me switch the light on. Let's squeeze it together. This would be your little laundry room. You have to think everything super efficient, tight. You've got here closet space, your dryer and washer right above, and obviously more space here for Everything the air cars, etc. Exactly. Super utile. Closing this space switches for the blinds, lighting, etc. And just here we have the kitchen. Once again, in the very clean style and design, this kitchen island also merges onto a little bar area right there. Siemens induction extractor right above. More space here for your salt and peppers right above. Indirect lighting, you're seeing it night shots as well. Super nice. Patrick, you wanted to say something? Yeah, no, I just see here also the mood board of the house. Yeah, so let's just give it a quick look. So obviously you can choose between different textiles, colors and so forth. And this one is part of the aluminum concept. Yeah. So you can come and enjoy these show houses. Stay there, because what I would love to point out is that you're kind of merging between the outer space and the inner space, which is fascinating. If you have a view as such, as we do on this entire project here with over 200 trees, you're looking at a scenery at a constant time right there unfolding. That's neat. Yeah, because it's also, it's not just about the house, it's also where you set the house, I think. Of course. Like this one, uh, the show houses have been set in a, in a greenery which makes it even more impressive. To be honest, I couldn't agree more. If you actually place them somewhere else, it wouldn't look that nice. So if you do get a house as such, which will be yours and built and placed on your plot within three months, which is fascinating, that just blows my mind. Uh, yeah, you have to put it somewhere nice. Appliances are here once again. This one opens as such, it's the fridge. and further storage spaces paneled in. Now, let's go upstairs and show you what we find there. Now look how epic, the light above us isn't real. It's been placed smartly to mimic natural light coming up from the staircase in the same rectangular space. Now, we have two bedrooms which are facing the back and two bedrooms facing the front. Let's look at this one. Now, my favorite part about it besides the cupboards and the space for the bed, is this picture window from floor to ceiling, left to right. How epic is it? And it gives you 
the entire view outwards and it just kind of like once again makes you feel like you are really emerging with the outer space. Now, just opposite we have the second bedroom here. Now here we have the cupboards to my left and obviously bedroom number two. We are looking at this house here at 430,000 euros as a starting price. Obviously, depending on what you choose from the options, the price will go up. And here, once again, we have this entire feature, that window that you can also slide open. So they're actually glass sliding windows, partially until here. But just picture putting this with a view of rolling mountains, or in my case, breaking waves by the ocean on a cliff. God, that would be so epic. Now we have two further bedrooms in this modular home. Let's show them to you. But before we do, here, as you can see, we have the one sink vanity set up here with the drawers underneath right there. It's already nicely organized for you with the plugs hidden there and a big mirror set up in direct lighting. And of course your shower area here with the imitation of a skylight, natural light coming in here, which is pretty cool if you think about it, that you kind of get this feeling of natural light even if there isn't one with soft close mechanism. To take this little corridor to the end where we have cupboards, nicely illuminating as well. And then who would have thought two bedrooms? <laughs> Let's look, cupboards here to my left and to my right. And I would say this is probably one of the main bedrooms because it has a bed set up here and it also appears slightly bigger than the other ones with the night tables here, nicely inbuilt with the bed framing and direct lighting and your bed, a wall, stunning view out, same principle. So every bedroom literally has that view out to whatever you want it to have. Cupboards here, I'm gonna open it just show you guys the space that we have here. Hang your suits, drawers right underneath, soft clothes, fantastic. And this bedroom also has more cupboards here, but a ensuite bathroom, let's look. Which is identical to the one we have seen just before with the one thing vanity drawer set up right underneath. Let me just open it up for you to see. And we have another section there. And of course the soft clothes, of nice materials well installed the shower the toilet the indirect lighting and once again we have this lighting which imitates sort of natural light like a skylight which is super nice now to the last bedroom which is just here and this is my favorite bedroom i have to say you have one bed set up here Obviously the cupboards and the inbuilt bed frame that also merges into a desk setup. I love it because when you walk in, you're immediately greeted by this humongous window. And I have to say, you get to see it all the time when you are in these homes. Your light flooded, you fuse between indoor and outdoor. And I think that was also one of the creative ideas of the architect to create a home where you merge the two elements together. Roger, you're very close, but you're getting this? Yes. It's nice, huh? It is. I love it. My favorite bedroom. I'm not sure if it's my favorite home though, but it's getting pretty damn close. Let's leave this house and show you another one. And once I walk down, like and subscribe to our channel. And lastly, before we leave this beautiful home, let's look at the toilet, which is right here. But once again, the same applies here. You have also storage space for your toilet paper or your bags from new toilet. One thing here, drawers right underneath. Once again, with the entire setup with the sockets just there, soft close. Perfect. Let us know in the comment section which house from the two we have just shown you is your favorite one so far. Have you done it yet? If not, do it. And now, what let's look at the other for? one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for 430,000 starting price, you could get this model with the graphite interior. That's the color palette for those who haven't listened yet. Now guys, at this point, 
huge congratulations to Fran Silvestre who's done a fantastic job architecturally speaking, designing each of the 10 modules which are present in the project differently and very capturing. Now this one, three bedrooms all on one floor, might be my favorite project. Its starting price is 310,000 euros and to be honest nowadays you can't even get an apartment with three bedrooms for that price. That's why I love it and of course the layout is super easy going. Now we also have a swimming pool here, this sort of cantilevered terrace roof line and the main entry. Let's look at it. One hundred and fifty seven square meters of livable area, three bedrooms. You immediately are welcomed to the living room area that you're seeing here. You have your big dinner table nicely set up. This one, if I'm not mistaken, has the limestone color palette selection. Let's go this way. Obviously, this is the front of the house. You also have a terrace area there with a carport, big sliding glass doors to enter and of course the kitchen. Let's have a look. This time we have the entire working section here with the induction there, the sink, cupboard areas and more enclosed kitchen area which is nice separated from all the other spaces around dinner table, big window with natural light coming in, sockets and fuses nice and clean paneled in before you leave. We have the appliances here, open shelving just there for your wine. Ooh, Pagos. This is actually a really good wine. The Bera del Duero. Just wanted to point that out. This one that I drink. Pago de los Caballanes. Nice. Here we have the fridge with more beer, Patrick, so we won't have to find over the other beer. And of course, the wines as well. Super, I actually like that the kitchen is shut down and separated from the rest of the house. What are your thoughts, Patrick? Yes, I agree because, you know, if you cook something a little bit with a smell, some fish, or you fry something, then, you know, you have it in the whole house afterwards. I just came up with the word compartmentalized. That's what this entire project is, which is super cool. Let's continue to bedroom number one, or what should be bedroom number one. Spacious, nice height ceiling. Once again, the big frameless picture window. Enough space to place your bed and of course, covered spaces there as well. Here, a little socket for the cables for your, for your television setup if you need it. And cupboards and drawers right here. Which are gonna be a bit difficult for you to see from this angle. Should I try to open it, Patrick? Yes. Voila. Well, this is the least interesting one actually. But anyways, you get the drift. And just outside here, we have the bathroom. One thing, vanity, nice illuminated shower. Everything you need is here. Now we continue because there's more. I'll check. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we continue because there's more into this room. What would you do without me, Dominic? I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. I would, I would probably show half of the house as well. <laughs> exactly, you miss out on a lot of things. You have the bed right here, working desk right up front. Obviously, you can also open these glass sliding windows, which are called picture windows, to enter outside or exit, or enter from inside and access, exit from inside. What? Stuff like that. You can You can go in and out. Yes, that is it. Cupboards right here, and obviously these two areas would use that bathroom that we have just shown you. Lastly, in this house, we have one more room, which is just here. So let's look at it together. We would call it the master, no? Let's do that. Let's call it the main bedroom. The master bedroom. Of the house. The king. This is king the king the and castle. queen can house. Love also that you have the panels of wood on the floor, giving this entire break of the super clean white which adds a bit more warmth into it. And of course, also the ensuite bathroom, which is just here. Once in vanity, mirror. It's got a very illuminated space. I think maybe the entire ceiling has this kind of uh, skylight feature, does it? No. Switch the light off. 
I don't know, there's some sort of indirect lighting that lets well, the yeah, entire is, ceiling like feel like... It seems like it, yeah. Like the light is shining on it. Am I, is it just me or am I tripping? I, I think we are tripping. <laughs> Anyways, that's what it feels like. To be honest, I prefer this one layout wise, as well as price wise, as well as that it's all on one floor to all the other ones. So I would say this might be my favorite unit. I'll tell you something. Hit it. So instead of buying myself one huge house for the whole family, I would buy a big plot and place all of these ones on their big plot. I love it. With some distance to each other, so you don't really interfere if you don't need to. But then have one house, which would be the main house where everyone comes for dinner, or watch a movie, or just I love it. spend time together. Patrick, start, do it. If you start today and you sign a contract, within three months, they'll be standing on your plot of land. Boom. That is pretty sweet. But I think I need a little bit more than three months to gather, to gather all the money <laughs> for my, my dream project. So guys, you heard Patrick. Like and subscribe. Share this video with all your friends, with your family, with amigos. Let us earn that money to make Patrick's dream come true. And obviously would also make a video out of it for you guys. So you would be part of the journey. Now, we have two homes left. This one that we are just about to see, which is the version N230, is a cube-like looking home with another swimming pool, a terrace of just under 50 square meters. Let's look at it. Perfect. Now the last home is the one at the far end, which is N220. And to be quite honest, we have already seen N220. It might have been the second home that we toured. Just in this one, the finishes are different. So you'll be seeing it now. So guys, let us know in the comment section below which of the five homes that we have shown you on today's episode you would pick as your favorite, the one that you would actually envision yourself to live in. At this point, I would also like to give a huge thanks to Open House Valencia who organized this shoot for us. It's been a delight. The concept is fantastic. I would consider getting it myself if I had the spare change which eventually we will do if you guys like and subscribe. Now, I would like to give Patrick the last words of today's tour. Wow, that was a long finish, Dominic. Yeah. Like and subscribe, thank you very much. Peace and see you next time.